There are a few uh, common causes of chronic pelvic pain in women and people with uteruses. In my practice, by the time people come to me for evaluation, I find the most common cause of chronic pelvic pain to be endometriosis. Endometriosis is a condition where the lining of the uterus, called the endometrium, ends up outside of the uterus. We don't really know why that happens. There's a lot of research trying to figure that out right now. We do know that that tissue that is not supposed to be there does cause a lot of pelvic pain uh, in a cyclic fashion, meaning typically you get flares of pain every month. Another common cause of pelvic pain is a condition called adenomyosis, and that's a condition where the lining of the uterus grows into the muscle of the uterus. It causes the uterus to act like a big blood sponge. So every month when a person is menstruating, that uterus has a big contraction and just like squishes and can cause a lot of heavy bleeding and pelvic pain. Another cause of pelvic pain is fibroids. Fibroids are benign growths of the muscle of the uterus. Um, there are a lot of different ways to treat these, both surgically and non-surgically. People that I am suspicious of having endometriosis, I find there to be three common symptoms. The first symptom is pain from the first time they get their period. The second symptom is pain that starts before they actually see blood, sometimes even a week before. And the third symptom is pain with any sort of vaginal penetration or intercourse. There are a lot of different treatments available for people with endometriosis. Often we start with uh, oral pills, like oral contraceptive pills that can help regulate the hormones. There are also medications that can lower the circulating hormones um, that can also cause improvement in pelvic pain. Uh, lastly, if patients don't have any improvement on the medications that we've tried, we do then suggest surgery, such as a laparoscopy. Laparoscopy is surgery through small incisions on the abdomen, through the belly button, and then through the lower part of the pelvis. We're able to use a camera and small instruments to identify the endometriosis and to actually excise it. My advice is if you have chronic pelvic pain, if you have pain associated with your periods, please find a doctor that will listen, find a provider that will take your concerns seriously. If you're seeing someone now that has brushed off your concerns, find somebody else that will really pay attention and take your concerns seriously. If you or someone you know is suffering with chronic pelvic pain, contact your provider or come see us. Appointments available at womenshealthct.com.